right guys, it is Saturday night again and time for an awesome movie night. Now, three days ago, I had dental implants put in my jaw. That means three giant titanium half-inch implants drilled straight into the bone in my jaw. And I thought I was gonna be out for about a week straight. So originally I was gonna call off from doing this video and I broke out a stack of Halloween videos. Halloween one, Halloween two, Halloween three, Halloween four, and Halloween five. And I actually even ordered Halloween H2O on 4K and it hasn't got here yet. But it doesn't matter because I actually feel much better than I expected to. So I decided to go ahead and make an awesome Saturday night snack in a movie. And I decided instead of having the Halloween movies tonight, we would watch a movie that is absolutely hilarious, and that is The Emperor's New Groove. Now, the reason I decided on this movie is because even though I feel better than I thought I would, I still can only eat things that are soft and very easy to chew. In this movie, this is actually a two-pack right here, The Emperor's New Groove and Kronk's New Groove. But in The Emperor's New Groove, if you've seen it, you know that Kronk makes spinach puffs. Now, I hate spinach. Actually, it's not all that bad, but it is pretty disgusting. So we are not going to make spinach puffs tonight. Tonight, we are going to make anti-spinach puffs. The Emperor's New Groove, anti-spinach puffs. Stay tuned, and I'll show you how. So these are going to be very simple to make. They're super delicious and just in case you also had titanium rods drilled into your mouth, <laughs> you should also be able to chew these. So the first thing we need is Jimmy Dean sausage. Now of course you don't have to use Jimmy Dean, but I love Jimmy Dean, so I'm going to use Jimmy Dean. Next we need some Velveeta cheese. They actually have a bigger box of Velveeta cheese, but we only want to use about this much. We also need a can of Rotel. This is diced tomatoes and green chilies, and we also need Pillsbury Grands Crescents. Now these are the big ones. You can use the small ones if you want to, but that is all we need to make our anti-spinach puffs. Now if this seems familiar, it's because if you guys remember when we did the Spirit Halloween movie and we made Nightcrawler nachos, we also made a concoction with Rotel, Jimmy Dean sausage, and Velveeta cheese. And that is what we poured over our nachos. I think we may have actually used some jalapenos too, maybe some onions and other things. But the difference here is we're gonna use a lot less cheese. We want this to be a thicker mixture so that we can actually wrap up the mixture in these grains. And then we're gonna bake them and you should be able to pick them up. And All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is prepare our cheese and our Rotel. We're simply going to open the Rotel and then drain it. Okay, that is ready. And then we're going to open our cheese and cut it into smaller pieces so that it melts easier when we mix it in with the sausage. Next is the sausage. We're just going to brown and ground that in a skillet. Once that's cooked up good, we're going to mix in our Rotel. And then we're going to mix in our Velveeta.
does probably even more cheese than we really needed. We just want it to be a nice thick mixture. At this point you can probably take half of that, stick it in a bowl and put it in the fridge and use it as an awesome chip dip. But we're going to let it sit here and thicken up while we get our crescents ready. So we're going to need a cookie sheet and some parchment paper. One sheet on the cookie pan and one sheet on the counter just to work with our crescent rolls. I leave these in the fridge till we're just about ready to use them, otherwise they get too soft and they tear really easy. So you can see as this is cooling down, it's getting thicker here. That's exactly what we want. We need to put our oven on 350. And I'm gonna set up a little assembly line here so that everything is conveniently in one place. We'll take one of these, spread it out on here a little bit, add a little gob of our filling, and then roll it up. And there we go, we have eight of them assembled. We have enough crescents left to make another eight, but we're gonna do these for right now. As you can see, we still have a ton of the filling left. That's why I said you could probably put half of it in another container and just save it for dip later. And the way that I wrapped them and pinched them together, I left the front open just because I kind of want that stuff to get browned so that we can see it just kind of oozing out. At least that's how I remember Kronk's spinach puffs looking. Okay, oven is ready at 350. We'll go ahead and put those in there for about 15 minutes. And that's our 15 minutes. See how those are looking? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Shut that off. Oh, these are gonna be delicious. And that's exactly what I was talking about, how I wanted it to kind of brown up in there. You can actually take this same filling and put it on those little Melba toast slices that you find like at the bakery at Walmart. Delicious. But these are much softer for a guy who just had dental work. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. How delicious. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Mmm, and it smells even better. <laughs> All right, I've let these cool down for a minute here. I'm gonna take a little taste test. Let's do this little one up here. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Mmm, mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, mmm. And it's so soft that I can actually chew it. These were the best idea ever. All right, guys, I'm gonna take my awesome anti-spinach puffs. I'm gonna go downstairs, get comfortable, and watch The Emperor's New Groove, and maybe even Kronk's New Groove.